Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 15. I'm sorry in advance, you guys. I haven't read in a very long time, especially this read. I do not remember their names or how to pronounce it because I know it's not English or American English names. So I will struggle just a little bit and um, I kind of feel like my... English pronunciations is a little bit bad. I'm trying I'm trying to get better, okay? I'm still practicing, okay? All right, I have my, my little dumpling right here. He might get fussy in between, so I you will see me pause quite a bit. Um, but I'm sorry in advance. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You You shameless girl. Uh, that's not one favor, but two. <laughs> she bought it. Besides, those are hardly difficult wishes to grant. Not only that, for your own benefit, I've also prepared a similar gift. A gift? <laughs> You're exceedingly kind to this young lady, your majesty. One might almost feel jealous. Perhaps it helps that she's a quarter century younger than me. I find her youth and innocence rather charming. Ah, she reminds me of a younger days, your majesty. Ah, she almost as witty and demure as you were. Demure? I hope I said that right. <laughs> I see you may have the right of it. However... I certainly hope that fate treats her more fairly than it did me. I'm the queen in this life. Episode 15. Are these a jewelry gifted by Her Majesty the Queen? Who said this? I don't know who's saying. Oh, how pretty. Just look at the these amethyst earrings. Mother, don't you think they perfectly match the color of my eyes? Indeed, it's as if they were made for you, Isabella. Ariadne. Do you mind if I keep these earrings? They look so stunning on me. I'm sure the earrings themselves would laminate ador adorning any other ears than mine. What is she talking about? Uh. She's right, Ariadne. There's no better way to spread joy than to share. And I will hold on to the 50 decado on your behalf until you have need of it, since it's too large of a sum for a young lady to handle. It just like reminds me of like um, your birthdays or like for me, Lunar New Year, when the family give us like red envelope fill filled with money. Bye bye. Uh, and, um, my mom would be like, yeah, I'll hold on to it. And then whenever I want to use it for like, oh, there's a toy at the store I want, or I need to buy like art supplies, it's magically gone. She would like, I used it for to buy clothes for you. And I'll be like, oh, I hate it. Let me hold the money for you. Once I turned 12, I was like, no, I'm holding on to my own money. <laughs> um, Isabella, mother. I would like nothing more than to share my newfound fortune. But I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to do so. What? If you'd rather be greedy, you could should you should say so plainly. That's not what I'm saying. Um uh, Her Majesty gifted these personally to me. From MDB to ADM and had both of her initials engraved on all of these ornaments. As you know, giving away a royal gift of this sort without due permissions is punishable as an insult against the royal household. <laughs> what? What? Oh, and mother? What is this? I hereby acknowledge the receipt of fifty 
Ducato in gold on behalf of Rambulet Shelter, Queen Margaret. The entire sum has already been donated in my name <laughs> to Rambulet Shelter, which operates under Her Majesty's authority. You, you, you. How could you cast away that money? Have you had no regard for your family's plight? Oh, she is shaking the crap out of her and she's just smiling. That's kind of creepy. That's creepy. Like, <laughs> you know, like, oh gosh. I felt that it was a small price to pay for our family's good name. Her Majesty herself commended the De, De Marais family for her our service to those less fortunate than us. How dare you answer back at me, you rude little girl. Lucrezia. Why am I not surprised to see you acting this way? I see I was right to rush back. Have you... Have you any idea how many prying eyes are scrut scrutinizing our household right now? Do not let your petty greed blind you, lest you humiliate yourself as you did before. Now, Ariadne. <clears throat> I told you. I'm told you've been granted the heart of the deep blue sea. Let us open it and take a look. Huh? Good heavens. Sorry, guys. It's a little... So this is the most precious jewel in the entire kingdom. I'm sorry. He's farting. Okay. Okay. Ariadne. I wonder how many Ducato it would fetch. What a beautiful stone. Since you have no safe of your own, I suggest you let me keep it in the safe inside my study. What do you think? Father? I, I mean... Why isn't it here yet? Hurry. Um, hurry. In my opinion, hurry. Here it is. <gasps> I have come to deliver the royal order of Her Majesty Queen Margaret. Her Majesty recognizes that the second daughter of the Demer household has been bestowed a, bestowed a gift of priceless value by His Majesty the King. As such, Her Majesty is also sending a safe dedicated to its storage. To be installed in the Demarais Scion's bedchambers. On that note, which room would that be? It's the attic room on the third floor. No. It's the westernmost room on the second floor. My love. But that room belongs to Ip Ippolito, your own eldest son. Shh. You've caused quite enough damage to our reputation already. I would not have you add that to that unsavory rumor that we keep our daughter in the attic. I didn't realize he has a son. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the beginning, they did talk about it. This is perfect. <laughs> Time to move into my new room. Wow, she is smart. She knows how to get, she knows how to get stuff. Like, she knows how to get stuff her way or have stuff going her way in her favor by playing these little chess moves. Like she uses a queen for all of this and she's gaining so much because of it. Wow. A bedroom with his own study? It seems being a cardinal's eldest son has its privileges. Once I return home, my family will seek to take your gracious gift from me, your majesty. If it would please you to write a me a receipt to say that I donate the entire 50 Ducato to Rambulet's shelter, I will put your gift to good use when it's needed. The first thing I will do with that money will, will be to purchase a dedicated safe to store your gifts, your majesty. All you have to do is give the order for it to be installed in my room. 
In other words, Bramblet Shelter will be my own personal bank. I must admit, I was surprised that the Queen granted me such a huge favor. And what priceless gifts she gave me. From MDB to ADM. I'm glad Isabella won't be getting her hands on any of them. <laughs> that went much more smoothly than I'd imagined. My lady! There was another messenger from the palace. He asked me to give this to you. A messenger from the palace? I'll be around if you need me, my lady. <gasps> that is such a beautiful hairpin. A note? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> to be continued. Wow, okay. Well, this is getting really good. I love that she's no longer petty and allowing herself to be, like, you know, emotionally quick-tempered, you know, to a lot of things. Because in her last life, she she allowed a lot of people to get under her skin. Like, everything. Because she was so in love with this guy who was using her and was so protective of him and... Yeah, she, whoever, like, talked badly about him, she would, like, fight them. Like, literally, physically, verbally fight them on behalf of him. Meanwhile, he treated her like crap. So, now that she's doing everything for herself, but not only that, you know, she's playing chess. She's, she is able to manipulate each person to do things in her favor, you know? So she's playing it smart, very wise, a bit manipulative, but smart, you know? She's not like her sister, her half-sister. All right, this is such a good read. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!